Nice to meet you, Joe. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How are you doing? Other than midterms, yeah. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right. Hello, everyone. This is Joanne Johnson from Cal TV Entertainment here at Castro Theater for the early red carpet screening for the film Bohemian Rhapsody. Let's check it out. Being a biopic for a band like Queen, that's a really big deal, man. How did you hear and get, in part, get involved in it? You know what? Uh, Rami is someone I've known for 10 years. You know, we've been working together. We worked together a long time ago. I found out he got the role. I was in London. I happened to run into one of the producers, and they were like, oh, oh, and my manager was there, and he's trying to push me like managers do, saying, oh, you got to put Joe in this movie. And they're like, Joe, do you play guitar? And I said, uh, you know, not as good as Queen. And they were like, okay, yeah, whatever. And I was like, okay, I'm not getting this. But then a month later, I got a call saying that they felt like I really looked like John Deacon. And before I knew it, I had a bass in my hand. I was trying to learn how to play that. They wanted to hear my accent. I showed it to them, and I got the role. It was crazy. How did you hear about it and get involved in the project? Uh, you know, the, the producers, Graham King and Dennis O'Sullivan, they saw Mr. Robot, this television show that I do. And uh, for some reason, I don't know how, they thought that that guy would play Freddie Mercury, but thank God they did. The casting director, Susie Figgis, to whom I am very, very grateful, um, has always kind of followed my career, and, and you know, she's been very supportive of me, and asked me to come in and play Brian, and she actually said, uh, kind of do a little bit of homework, look at his voice, look at his gesture and come in with a bit of performance and I, I did so I went into that read through and, and brought a bit of Brian May with me and I think the producer's ears pricked up and after that they gave me a, an audition the following week and it went from there basically. Every band has to start. How'd you guys all come together? Oh it's been a long journey to find everyone and, and uh, Queen has been an amazing band to tribute because of all the variety of music so finding players who are strong musicians and talented females challenge and we all love Queen yes to start what was one of your favorite parts about filming the movie I think for uh, just the opportunity to jump up around jump up and down on stage and pretend to be a rock star every time we got to put a song up on stage and have uh, have a concert scene that was probably the most thrilling any time that we got to perform these concerts it was just like the highlight of my life and and it, it was so funny because you really felt like you were a part of this band you would walk out and they had extras there they would all chant your name they would scream and you kind of like raise your hand it was like very strange like you felt like it was sort of real and you're really playing the songs and you're like you're dancing and, and all of that's coming together. It's just this euphoric feeling that, that I, I honestly I wish I could have back. Now last question, we get you some trivia. Now, okay, ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're, this is, I can only fail in this situation. <laughs> all right, let's go. <laughs> Another one by us, a huge song. What year was released? 1979, 1980, 1981, or 1982? Another one by us, I'm gonna say 1980. Correct, 1980. 1979, 1980. 1981 or 1982? I'm going to say another one by to dust is 1980. 81? You had it the first time. Uh, it was 1980. 1980. It's either 80 or 81. I'm going to go with 80. Correct. Nice, nice. The only one that got it right. 1980. Well, guys, thank you for tuning in. Bohemian Rat City drops November 2nd. For all things entertainment, tune in to Cal TV. And as always, go Bears!